Strike, strike, strike. Get your hands! Get your hands! Get his hands! Get him! Get him! Yeah. Anthony Russell, you're under arrest for the murder of three people. You do not have to say anything okay. but my army defence. You do not mention one well, question, done. something which you later rely on court as. You do say maybe given the evidence. Hello and welcome to Crime Time UK. Today we're going to look at triple killer Anthony Russell. It all started in October 2020 when Anthony Russell went on a seven day crime spree which involved assault, carjacking, robbery, rape and murder. On the 23rd of October, Julie Williams, who is 58, phoned West Midlands Police to report her son David had been missing for two days. Julie and David Williams lived close by to Anthony Russell in Bell Green, Coventry. Anthony Russell was the last person to see David Williams alive. CCTV here shows Russell with Williams on the day he was murdered. David Williams was murdered on the 21st of October after going to Russell's flat where they may have taken drugs. Russell confessed to various people that he had killed David, alleging that he believed that he had sex with his girlfriend. Williams had 87 separate injuries and was strangled with a lanyard. Only two days later, on the 25th of October, West Midlands Police got another call, but this time it was from Miss Williams' sister to report her missing. Police officers forced their way into her house and found her dead lying on the living room floor. She had 113 separate injuries including being hit over the head at least five times and had a bleed on the brain. The following day, Russell fled Coventry with money and a mobile phone that he had robbed from a 78-year-old man the day before. Later on that day, officers raided Russell's home in Wiley Square after a tip-off they had confessed to killing Miss Williams and her son David. When officers arrived at the home, they found David's body hidden under a bed. A major manhunt was then launched for Russell and was one of the largest by West Mid's police. Russell then used public transport to travel to Kenilworth where he immediately continued his violent spree by robbing a woman who was 71 years old of £200 and dragging her along the ground. He then used public transport travelling to Leamington Spa arriving in town at 2.45. It was there that he met his final victim, 31 year old Nicole McGregor who was 18 weeks pregnant. A short while later, Russell raped Nicole who was five months pregnant and then murdered her. The following day, Russell met with Nicole's boyfriend to help look for her, not realising she was already dead. Russell was then seen leaving Leamington Spa on foot at around 2pm. He again preyed on the vulnerable victim, a 75-year-old man. After asking him for directions, Russell followed him into his house and attacked him before making off in his car, which was a Ford C-Max. The following day, Miss McGregor's body was found in an area of dense undergrowth near to the River Leem. The 31-year-old's body was covered in scratches and bruises, having been dragged through the woodland. Finally, on the 30th of August 2020, Russell was finally found in Staffordshire in the early hours of the morning sleeping in the back of the car that he had just stolen two days earlier. Police established that Russell killed Mr Williams first and then his mother afterwards as she knew too much. When questioned in custody by officers, Russell remained silent with a blanket over his head. He had since admitted to three murders as well as three robberies and wounding of a carjacking victim. But he did deny rape. 
On the 11th of March this year, Anthony Russell was sentenced to a whole life order and will never be released. So rest in peace to Nicole, David and Julie. And until next time, stay safe.